B major is the key with five sharps. So we've got an F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. And since we have all these sharps, we're going to have to use our universal scale fingering pattern. And if you're not sure what that is, um, revisit the E major video. Uh, but for a quick review, we've got our X, X, C, C, 3. Or in other words, extended, extended, closed position, closed position, and using our third finger on top. And really, this is pretty much the exact same thing you did with E major, except we're just moving it over a string. So we're going to start with our first note. We're going to put our first finger where our third finger usually goes. So we've got our B natural. Okay, and let's just go up nice and slow. So we've got first finger B. Extend up, C sharp, make sure your thumb moves. D sharp, fourth finger. Shifting back, first position, E natural. Extend up, F sharp. G sharp, fourth finger. Back to half position, A sharp. B natural, second finger. Fourth finger, C sharp. Shifting up a whole step to D sharp. Second finger, closed position, E natural. Fourth finger, F sharp. Up a whole step, G sharp. Reach up a whole step, A sharp, and B, nice and close, half step. And freeze right there for a second. All right, so um, this hand position that we have here, notice again, whole step here, half step here, okay? Um, and if you're having trouble reaching these notes, check and see where your elbow is at. Because if you're back here somewhere, you might have trouble getting around the side of the cello. So just bring that around. Um, also, check if your fingers are curved. If they're looking flat or some strange angle, that could give you trouble. Okay? Um, and let's just play these three notes a few times back and forth to get the feeling for this spacing. So we'll start with the B. A sharp. G sharp. And back up, A sharp. time, listening for intonation, okay, so let's go all the way back down the scale, um, see at the bottom, here we go, B, A sharp, G sharp, shifting back to fourth finger on F sharp, sorry, E natural, D sharp, Fourth finger, C sharp. Second finger, B natural. First finger, A sharp. Reach up, extend up, G sharp. F sharp, second finger. Extend back, first finger, E. D sharp. Second finger, C sharp. And back to B, first finger extension. Okay, one more time, I'm just going to say the note names. Tiny bit quicker, here we go. B. F-sharp, G-sharp, A-sharp, B, C-sharp, D-sharp, E, F-sharp, G-sharp, A-sharp, B, A-sharp, G-sharp, F-sharp, B, D-sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, and B. Let's add the bow. Two beats per bow with the drone.
addendum to our practice of the B major scale. Um, you know, I was thinking about this shift right here between our F sharp and our G sharp. And you know, that's a tricky shift. So that would be the kind of place where you might want to just take that apart and drill that a bunch of times. Just go back and forth. Getting kind of your arm and your hand used to how far away those notes are. And really you could do the same thing for this shift here between the C sharp and the D sharp. Fourth finger to first finger. You know, do this enough times and you're won't be stressful. And then when you put it in context, you feel more confident that you you know where you're going. Okay? Anyway, that's always that kind of isolating shifts or isolating the hard the hard spot that is always a great practice technique and it can save you a lot of time um, in your practice.